All right, Shalom. This is Brother Yohanathan about all the while. I'm coming at you with another lesson through the Spirit and Power of Yahweh Shemel Shah. First and foremost, I want to start by giving all praises, glorifications to Yahweh by Shemel Shah, by Shemel Kakadash, double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone Well. Peace, love, and salutations to the hopeful elect throughout the four corners of the earth, preaching his word and the truth and in sincerity. Shalom. All right, and um, this is uh, going to be a lesson uh, <clears throat> kind of sitting around me speaking as a man because it was a spirit yesterday. You know, uh, we uh, fellowship with the brothers in uh, Columbus, Georgia, and um, the head brother, uh, um, Power Thumb, I believe that's uh, the brother's Hebrew name. Uh, he made a, a, a point that well, that I was, uh, you know, speculating on, you know, and it was the spirit, man. I, I was saying the same thing, and uh, the point he made was uh, how uh, Esau is going to bring the persecution when brothers start performing miracles on camera, and that's the spirit because... <laughs> I was thinking the same thing, man, you know, and I want to sit uh, this lesson around that, you know, get some scriptures, uh, you know, and be out, uh, hit hit some points. OK, but yeah, you know, that's uh, what I believe through the spirit, too. All right. That's what I believe through the spirit, too. That's what going. That's how Esau is going to really come. You know, that's when, when Esau is going to say, uh, you know, uh, all bits are off. Now, I got to I got to get these niggas, man. You know, because, yo, he, hey, the elites know, you know, they they know that the most high is this. They know that we the prophets, you know, they know their end is coming. You know, like the scriptures say, uh, Esau is the end of the world. And uh, Jacob is the beginning of that following. It's a lot. You know, Jacob is the beginning of that following. Who's Jacob? Well, first and foremost, who's Esau, the so-called white man? Who's Jacob? All right. You Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay, and Esau, uh, <clears throat> he's going to, um, you know, that that's really going to uh, trigger Esau. You know, when brothers start performing miracles, okay, that's really going to trigger Esau to come uh, come after us, man. Start demonizing us more because he's using these, like, like I said, at uh, the camp yesterday up there, Fellowship in Columbus, he's using these pawns like, Alex Jones and Andrew Tate and other guys, uh, they, they uh, canceling or, or uh, what you uh, call cancel culture, you know, just to get to us. He, he's going all he's doing all this bullshit, go all out his way just to get the, to the prophets, man. OK, but hey, yeah, brothers, brothers going to be performing miracles, man, real soon, man. Hey, act, like we say all the time, um, X part two. All right. But I want to start off with a scripture. Uh, this is a. Uh, St. John chapter 14, verse 12, it says, this is from the Lord himself, Yahweh Shai says, Verily, verily, which means surely, surely, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I shall do, he do also. See that? And that's a, uh, first of all, foremost, going out there teaching, you know, um, uh, preaching the word of, of the Most High, man. Preaching the word of the Lord. Okay. And it's also uh, alluding to uh, the spiritual powers, okay, that brother's about to receive, okay? It reads on, it says, in greater works and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my father. So, hey, the Lord, you know, the Lord uh, was humble and said, we're going to do greater works, man. He performed great miracles. We know that through the spirit, Okay. We know that he could perform. He performed uh, great works. Those works that uh, <coughs> are not even recorded that he did. But guess what? He says we want to do greater because guess what? We we're in the most dangerous times ever known to mankind. So, hey, uh, the spirit, hey, the spiritual power is going to have to be even greater, man. Okay, because hey, we're going to have spiritual powers that also uh, defend ourselves too. Okay. But first and foremost, we're gonna uh, the Lord's gonna uh, give certain brothers spiritual powers to perform miracles. All right, on on um, you know the uh, uh, the uh, Israel, you know that that's seeking refuge, man. That's you know like the scriptures say. Um, I'm gonna get in a minute. Um, they shall be willing in the day of thy power. Okay, and that's it's gonna shake this devil up, man. Okay, it's gonna shake this devil up. And he's gonna he's gonna come after us, man. All right, 
So that's what, uh, like I said, I've been speculating through the spirit, man. So it was the spirit that brother said that yesterday. Okay, so great or worse, hey, we're gonna we're gonna do all right. Then, uh, hey, uh, the Lord Himself, because like I said, it's gonna be um, um, a very very dangerous time. Because not only we're gonna be performing miracles like the Lord, hey, we're gonna use spiritual powers, like I said, to defend ourselves. So that's so that's uh pretty much how you know we're gonna be doing greater works too when we uh because the Lord He came peacefully the first time, okay. All right. He didn't use spiritual powers to, uh, 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 you know, uh, cause havoc or, or you know, um, um, enact judgment. You know, we're going to be doing both, man. OK, some brothers going to get spiritual powers to heal and um, uh, some brothers going to uh, get spiritual powers to defend themselves and kill, <laughs> so to speak. You know, defend themselves through the spirit and power. Yeah, by smell shot, man. OK. So let me get that scripture. Uh, I quote it. Let's go to Psalms. Because hey, this is how the multitude going to come in too, man. Let me see. What is this? Psalms 103 and, and uh, no, 110. All right. I'm going to get straight to the point. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 110, verse 3. It says, Thy people, which is Israel, shall be willing in the day of thy power. See? In the beauties of holiness from the womb of the morning, thou hast the dew of thy youth. So the point being, thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. So, hey, Israel's going to be willing, man. That's how the multitude, that's how this multitude going to um, come in too. And that's going to shake Esau to the core, man. So he won't have no choice but to make his move, man. So it's going to have to take something drastic for this devil to really just, just, just bring it, man. All right, and, and this has to be it through the spirit and power of by Shema and Shah. And yes, persecution is coming. So, hey, brothers, like we've been saying, brothers and sisters, if you sisters that believe, you got to prepare your minds because, hey, this devil, remember, can't quote it enough. I can't bring it out enough. This devil's getting ready to come down having great wrath because he knows that he had but a short time. And, and uh, the most is about to use this devil to enact judgment on Israel. So, how much more we got to uh, continue to prepare ourselves, all right, for the coming um, um, day of the Lord, man, okay? To avoid that wrath, that indignation he's about to bring on the planet Earth, okay? And he's going to use this devil to persecute us. We're going to be persecuted too, but guess what? Hey, the Lord is going to be on our side, man, okay? All right? Uh, let me get uh, one, one last scripture because I ain't want to make it too long. I just want to hit that point. All right, uh, this is Matthew chapter 5. Start at verse 10. Okay. This is Matthew 5 and 10. It says, Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake. See? Blessed are they that are persecuted for righteousness sake. I am performing miracles. It's going to be righteous. Fucking nigga, man. I'm going to be... <laughs> Hey, that hey, like I said, <clears throat> nigga kind of threw me off track. But like I was saying, hey, the performing miracles is it, definitely a righteous act, and Esau's gonna be shooken, and he ain't gonna like it, and he gonna he gonna uh, have no choice but to bring it. Like I said, man. Okay, and, and hey, first and foremost, us doing the works of Yahweh by Shemel Shai, going out on highways and byways, you know, keeping the law to the best of our ability. All right, condemning this society. Okay, so again, from the top, it says, blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of uh, heaven. All right, I'm going to look up that word persecuted. I'm going to go ahead and uh, go on to Merriam-Webster's. Let's look up the uh, definition for the word persecuted. <clears throat> It says to harass or punish in a matter designed to injure, grieve, or afflict. Okay. It says to cause to suffer because of belief. Now, this is the key point right here. To cause to suffer because of belief. And our belief is in whom? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right. And, and our belief is that we have the 100% truth. Okay. So, by having the 100% truth, 
and by it uh, destroying this devil's uh, 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 society, okay, it's a threat. So guess what? He's going to have to create all kind of allegations and slander, you know, the scriptures can uh, uh, bring this out enough either. In Revelation 12, uh, the scriptures say the accuser of thy brethren, man. Okay, and who's the accuser of uh, his brethren? It's, it's Esau, the so-called white man. Okay, so he's gonna make he's gonna try to make us suffer, okay, because of our belief, our belief in um Yahweh Bashim Shah, because this he yeah, has this world hating Yahweh Shah, man. All right, it all boils down to hating the most high, all right, and, and his son, uh hating Yahweh Bashim Shah, man. And people do hate us, man. We go out there and teach, okay? When we go out there and teach and uh the truth. And teach repentance, man, and condemn this society, okay? And Esau, he definitely, um, this is definitely a th uh, threat to his society because it's bringing it down, man. Uh, these prophecies, man. Okay. All right. So let's go back to Matthew, the fifth chapter. Read it one more time from the top in verse 10, and I'm going to drop down to verse 11 and wrap up. It says, blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake for theirs is the kingdom of heaven verse 11 blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you see and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my name say it's all gonna go back first and foremost to this fucking devil man he's gonna accuse us he's gonna slander us he's gonna blackball us blackmail us whatever you want to call it um uh, uh, assassinate our character but that's all right though man because, hey, the Lord, hey, right here, he warned us of this, and it's coming, man. Setting up all kind of agents, provocateurs, to, you know, to uh, help demonize these agents. Like uh, like I mentioned yesterday at camp, went into it a little bit. Okay? He went into it at, uh, I went into it at camp. Grandmaster J is one prime example. Okay? All right? So he's going to continue to uh, build up, so-called build up his cases against us, man. But it ain't going to work, man. Because the Lord, again, the Lord is, is is by our side, man. He got us, man. Okay? So, hey, I'm going to end it off on that. Like I was saying, man, hey, that's what I believe through the spirit, how, how the, uh, Esau is going to finally, you know, come after us uh, full-fledged when brothers start performing miracles. All right, so uh, with that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up. Lord willing, I pray this lesson was edifying. I'm going to sign off by saying all again, uh, again, all praises and glorifications goes to Yahweh by Shema of Shot, by Shema Kakadash, double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone and Well. Peace, love, and salutations to the hopeful elect. Got the four corners of the earth preaching his word in truth and in sincerity. I say Shalom, call me Ashala, and a Bible ball. Shalom.